This college basketball picks edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Louisiana, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Tennessee, and Virginia. For boosted same game parlays to live in game odds, WinBet has what you need to win. Sign up today, bet 100, get 100 at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash winbet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W Y N N B E T. State restrictions apply. We're also brought to you by the SGPN merch store. Head over to store.sportsgamblingpodcast.com and use promo code MADNESS for 10% off orders of $40 or more. Hey, this is Derek Stevens. I'm the owner of Circle Las Vegas. You're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. To the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Fortunately, we have some headlamps so we can snorkel and mm. scuba dive safely after dark here <laughs> on the West Coast, of course. Yes, late night show here for the sports gambling podcast, joined by our lead dive instructor, Colby Dan, aka the Dan to base. What's happening, Colby? <laughs> I mean, Der- Dan Quiz. I'm gonna call him Dan Quisenberry, like the old Kansas City <laughs> Royals pitcher. Um, unnecessarily scores a layup with about oh, uh, oh one boy. second left to ruin. You and, to you ruin and this is much. to ruin. To well, ruin then, LaSalle plus and then six. La- yeah. LaSalle almost hit that uh, three to back door. Like that was right off the front iron. Man, it has just been a crazy day of action. Penn State. Uh, moving on past Illinois, one of my locks that felt pretty good, and, and seemingly locking up a uh, spot for the Nittany Lions in the Big Dance. That was pretty sweet, and it's just been a crazy day of action. We're sweating out Villanova here in studio. Uh, our boy, our it's just it's just everything's happening. It is I really well, honestly. I feel like hijack in your pleasure center because there's just so much action right now. The the earlier today our landlord was in the building. <laughs> there was some roofing work being great, done. He's a great dude. And he pops his head and he just looks at me and just says, "What what a what a business." <laughs> what like eight college basketball games <laughs> on a wall of TVs. He's, he's like, "You this, guys come to work and do this every day?" Yeah, he's this old school dude who just uh comes in and pokes his head in the office every once in a while. He's like, and what do you? What exactly do you guys do? <laughs> They'll see just Colby sitting there watching eight TVs. They're like, yeah. you're you're paying this guy to watch TV. I uh, no no not really. Yeah, pay t- watch TV and then comment on games, create content. Yeah. we're we're honest workers in these content minds, chiseling away. Content. Don't worry, my dad still th- still thinks my job's full of shit. He's like, <laughs> hey, what do you? So what do you do? You just talk about the games. He's like, well, anyone can do that. Yeah, exactly. anyone can do that. Anyone can. Anyone do can do that. That's but what does makes it, us so special. Yeah, anyone can do it. But does anyone do it? Does anyone do it at the level we do it at? I don't think so. I mean, honestly, I, it's gotten to the point, Sean, where I would, <clears throat> I can't imagine there are too many other podcasts that have been consistently running since 2011. Yeah, the fact that we've just survived this long as a podcast, and every mm. once in a while, I think, man, I remember when we were in my garage. I remember we were in, uh, you know, your garage. Now we have a legit office. We have LaCroix. We got a a water (laughs) jug. We do have a water service. That's, I mean, that's pretty high end. It's actually just really pisses me off. No, nope. we have a studio B. A, a long time ago when we would have talked about if we would have talked about yeah. s- snorkeling or, or scuba oh, wow. diving, we wouldn't be able to afford this nice costume. Yeah, no, that's true. It, it just, along with the snorks. <laughs> there's just that, like a discretionary budget that allows us to yes, buy. There is a prop shit. budget to buy dumb shit off Amazon <laughs> as a write off. We're writing off uh, inflatable scuba gear here. And, and the, the deep black. dive mass will be, oh. will be coming <clears throat> to us in Las Vegas. We're going to be doing a, a live week of shows from the blue wire studios in Las Vegas. So stay tuned for that. Just confirmed a massive guess for one of our uh, March oh, nice. madness picks podcasts. It's going to be lit. Talk about money line Mac. 
Money Line Mac, yeah, he's a uh, massive he's, guest. Am I? Am I, am I, I mean, yeah. do we know? Rising that, star in the issue. I don't know if he's in the chat. He he typically shows up, but it, I wonder if he's been to Vegas before. Do we know? I think he has. Okay, I think okay. he has. Because I do like popping a cherry. There is another know? guy that I think part of the crew that has oh. not been. <clears throat> oh, who's well, this? we got We got. I think we have yeah. to take Noah B to a strip club and just blow his mind. <laughs> Uh, is he 21 yet? <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll have to figure that out. He is coming out to Las Vegas. And uh, yes, we do have some whiskey in the studio. It's a late night mm. show. Having fun, watching, hopefully, uh, Villanova come back against Creighton. There's just so much going on right now. And we got a loaded Friday slate. Yeah. Go- oh. Ho, ho. And of course, if you're looking to get down. Oh, college basketball, March Madness. You got to do it over at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WYNNBET. Bet big, win even bigger. Spin that parlay wheel. I mean, you already get the joy of a parlay and then the joy of spinning a wheel to get some extra bonus on top of that. So many ways to win. Bet big, win bigger. And of course, bet 100, get 100. State restrictions apply. Get all the details, sportsgivenpodcast.com slash winbet. Offer subject to change terms and conditions at winbet.com. Must be 21 or older in present the state where play through winbet is available. If you're somebody who has a gambling problem, call 1 800 522 4700. Leave it going, Sean. Judge Dredd in the YouTube chat already alluding to the sword vitality read. Don't worry, Judge. It's coming up. See what I did there, Ryan? Just something real pro. Something to think on, Sean. Uh, we we got to build a segment around the, these partners where the, where we're having people request. Yes. Like we, like there. I mean, if, is it a what? TRL bit where we have <laughs> we have your favorite uh, your favorite part? I, I, there, I mean, rarely I, does a show people request ads, but when I, you're when you get to talk about sword oh, vitality and shady rays, it's find me one. It's a it's a whole other level. Find me. All right. So uh, last thing I wanted to add before we get to this insane somehow Colby just took we we weren't paying attention. There's no. too much action on Colby. Colby jammed all the games, <laughs> all the games into the sheet. Uh, we're 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 touching on a lot a, a lot of games here. I actually, all, right. all of them. I could have done real more. quick. Yeah, real quick. What is your take? Is this better? Is this week better than next week? Yes. I mean, I'd say it's right on par, right on par. I I would say what's cool about the conference tournament is the rivalry aspect of it, right? Like you're, you're playing teams that, you know, you have a history, you're going at it. I actually think next week's better by by, by a little bit. I would say next week is better, but I'm saying if you were making a case for conference tournament, I would start the fact that there's no yeah. love loss between these opponents. Well, it's, like they it, know each other well. It creates great. They're, they're Arizona versus Arizona State or something like yeah. that. Like you and the TMZ fan doesn't really know about this week, so it, no. it's like a mecca for the the, the true DJs. You yes. know what I mean? I, I do think it's like St. Patrick's Day is a drinking holiday. Yeah, if you're an alcoholic, you're gonna drink on St. Patrick's Day. But yeah. everyone, yeah. so drinks. is everyone. Yes. Yeah. But I, yeah, I think I think you nailed it, right? Like this is this is the best week for the guy for for the Colby and Moneyline Mac who've been grinding out every game all season. Yeah. That being said, next week still is the celebration. Yeah, there's still nothing like seeing you know. It's still the celebration. The Bryce Drew shot or some shit like that. You know what I mean? So it's. Yeah, I mean, dare dare you say you almost get better basketball uh, this week and. Uh, more well, excitement I, next I, week. I see no being be like, trying to take shots at ECU, oh, oh and no. uh, you know you're coming. Oh. You're coming. You know he's in the chat <laughs> saying, you know, you get to enjoy the darlings, and it's going to be their last weekend like ECU. ECU is ready to win the whole damn thing. Yeah. Uh, look, when you go to the University of East Carolina, you don't go with a weak can, heart. Can right? I? Can I? And I think it, nothing would be more perfect, Sean. Than for ECU to take down the American Athletic Conference in the same week. That the college experience reaches three thousand followers on oh, Twitter. Historic week. Historic week. Make sure you smash that follow button for the college experience Twitter feed and, <laughs> and subscribe to us on YouTube. Toss us a thumbs up. We know you're in the chat. We know you're listening. And uh, again, real actually, real quick, subscribe on YouTube and then go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash golf party. Uh, Kramer and I were given away a three night stay at the Circle Las Vegas. Hang out with us. Uh, April fifth to April eighth. You can watch the Masters in a cabana. Think lemon party, but with golf balls. Uh, exactly. Well, Sportsgamblingpodcast.com/slash golf party. Potentially, it sounds like cu- 
when I dangled the idea that cousin mush could hang in the cabana all week, it, he might be coming. So we might have cousin there might mush in the a, house. Oh there might be a tiger mask. Cause someone's going to play tiger woods. But uh, Sean, did you see how badly I walked Colby into the wall there? Oh man. He was not expecting that. Congratulations on air. Very exciting stuff. All right. Uh, yeah, for the record, I think uh, this is a better this is a better week to be in the studio with God's eye. Uh, next week, Vegas energy is needed. Rutgers, Purdue, nine a.m. We got Big Ten semifinal action here, uh, live from Chicago. Is that correct, or is it quarterfinal, semifinal? Uh, Rutgers catching five points here. Uh, any chance to fade Purdue, right? I mean, or, or well, this, this is a revenge spot. Also feels like a stinky spot. They've where, only played once, and Rutgers won. Well, that that's the other part. Like the it, stinky. I know you guys faded Rutgers in the first and round, but Magwat. Uh, how do I pronounce his name again? Anyway, he's injured. They're a big man. He's been injured. That's part of Rutgers' downfall. The second half of the yeah. season. And he would be guarding Zach Eady. That's why I'm going to lay the five with the Boilermakers because it's I think a, they're going to yeah. put on them. I, I'm kind of with you. As much as I enjoy fading Purdue, I think this actually might be a good spot for them. And this is like a Zach Eady get right game. All of a sudden, you know, there's some Purdue buzz happening. Purdue is going to fall apart, but it's going to be maybe oh, yeah. in the round of 32 quarterfinals. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Maybe I, the Colgate. Maybe even the finals <laughs> of the of the uh, Big Ten tournament, but. Here against Rutgers, I think is their is actually their time to shine, and this is kind of like a perfect spot for them. So, I like Purdue minus five. Uh, all right, Discord gets a pick right off the top. My my initial thought was purely this: the number felt a little small in terms of the class difference here. Edie gonna eat. Edie gonna eat. A lot of good food out there in Chicago for him to eat. Mm. East Carolina, your <laughs> a big boy, your purple pirate. Oh, I got a line on this, by the way. Oh, we got real numbers coming yeah. out now. Nice. 10 a.m. on the West Coast. Uh, Fort Worth, <laughs> Texas place host. Oh, well, uh, Colby obviously checking only to expand the projection of 20. Houston now laying 22 in the wild. Oh, boy. I mean, well, ECU has heart, I hear. ECU does have heart. Dylan O'Donnell pointing out uh, Colby, great job on Greg Peterson, a.k.a. Hoops Peterson. No, our buddy. Over on Vison, and uh, we'll be hanging out with Hoops next week in the Vison studio. So Basic, obviously check that out. Basically hijacking Hoops' studio. Yeah. Hoops next is week, a good what, dude. There, what, when, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> I feel we have like a lot of shows week, scheduled. Uh, $100 million, million. <laughs> yeah, get, can, can buy we're, we're loaded up on some Hoops. $700 billion and a trillion, $300 million. <laughs> That's Colby, it. Colby, talk us in East Carolina no, here. Don't. Uh, well, please don't. There's certain programs that actually no. love the moment. Mm. All right, and they're not gonna, seize the moment. They're not gonna f mm. just fade. Like, like we know Purdue as a program, football, basketball. It could be. I don't care. They, they, keep can, a they, soft they can. Program. They can end up having a, a relay team that's yeah. just gonna be soft. You know what I mean? And there's certain programs, there's certain institutions in this country of ours, this fine yeah. country of ours. That uh, you know rise to the occasion, yeah. Um, and and I think East Carolina is a team that look, you know, you go into Fort Worth, Texas, uh, it's going to be a Houston crowd, but we we don't give a shit because uh, it's we've gone into many parties in Greenville where oh. maybe maybe they what, weren't what, uh, the, on board with us. What's the matchup that East Carolina wins against Houston? Um, I would say. Heart 50 50 balls. Yeah, I would say, I mean, that's, that's a, that's a, a tough one to say to, to pigeonhole, but I just think we're going to be there. <laughs> we're going to be a, a better defensive team than we were the, the, the last time we played, but okay, we I covered, like we covered the, the 19 and a half last time. Uh, 76 57. Yes, we got it done. Houston only shot 33% from behind the line. Yeah, see, forty-eight you know, percent. That's for the because game. we're 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 not an awful defensive team. Oh, ECU out. Uh, ECU had twenty-eight free throw attempts to only fifteen for Houston. I would say so. Uh, the refs were trying their hardest to give ECU a, a backdoor cover here, perhaps. No, no, we we just knew how to play them, and uh, you know the lead got up a little bit. You know some injuries. Uh, either way, <laughs> there's no way that we're afraid or we're shaking in our boots to take on this little. <laughs> Houston Cougar team that says, Oh, we're going to go to the big 12. You're going to go to the oh, big 12 wow. with the fucking loss. All right. <laughs> How yeah. about that? So you're calling for the money line play well, yes. on East Carolina. Yes, we are. Look, oh, the oh, fact oh, you play, no, you already it. played a game. There's yeah. that advantage, Sean. You don't That's a huge this. advantage. Yeah, Houston's you, been sitting there. You don't mean this. Yeah. 
and you and don't. look, sometimes the, look playing ECU is like play. It's a body bag game. You know what I mean? <sighs> you don't want to see that on the, on the on the schedule. So the Pirates, I think. Are uh, just the kryptonite to Houston this year. So um, ECU plus twenty two for Colby. Yes, and yes. I'm starting to see why the the price was minus three hundred. They're going to be more than minus the a thousand in this <laughs> money line situation here. Yeah, I got to I got to take Houston. Yeah, I mean, Clyde Drexler's not walking through that door, guys. ECU had right? their ECU won their Super Bowl by winning a game in this tournament. And congrats to the uh, Pirates he, there, but Houston and, and you guys faded me there, so I feel good about this. <laughs> I yeah. think I've because you guys both thought I'm South you, Florida. I'm, South I'm Florida doing you a favor. Doing yeah. I'm doing you a favor. Load up, load up on the Cougars. I think I'm right? locked into Houston and Kansas being half of my Final Four, so I'm I'm just working towards the mm. other half. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm with Sean. Lay lay the number. Let me ask you this: Who are you high on in uh, the MAC? You're high on Toledo, right? No, Akron, baby, the Zips. Okay. No, I'm on. Zip yeah, we all we, ha- oh, we all have Ohio I eleven to one. Toledo. Why are you trying to talk shit? <laughs> you want I mean, come on. If you want to come up to the surface and snorkel with me, bring your fucking no. A game. Look, people in Greenville haven't snorkeled one second you in fake their air life. Breather. All right? <laughs> you synthesized air breather, tri blend <laughs> motherfucker. What do you got? Go. I can't wait. Mississippi you, you, you State, took South Florida. Mississippi State takes on Alabama in the SEC tournament, 10 a.m. On the West Coast, of, of course, we're talking all day Friday here in Nashville, Tennessee, Mississippi State. Very frustrating to watch towards the end of the game. Man, they did everything they could to fuck that game up. They're, everything. They're catching eight points here. Obviously, just going to continue to fade Bama as a bigger favorite against just about anyone, especially a team that can play defense. They're going to frustrate them, especially against a team that almost swept them. All right. And right. I mean, Mississippi State's defense, six in the nation in adjusted defensive efficiency. And we've seen, um, you know, we've seen Alabama get frustrated at times, especially as late. Like they, Alabama really hasn't been that same team since the Brandon Miller thing uh, has happened. <laughs> When's the and, last time they covered? Well, yeah, I don't think they've covered since the Brandon Miller thing. Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, feel free. But. Bra- the I- the irony is Braden Miller has actually been playing pretty good in that stretch. <laughs> Something about the team's collective butthole has really tightened he- up, <laughs> and this has given uh, Mississippi State a oh he- a good opportunity. And Mississippi State the the strong defense against Alabama's offense. It's a good matchup for them. Oh, all day. This is this is a great spot to catch Alabama, and I think they get it done. I think they get it done. It's a, look anytime you have these slow paced teams, we've seen it all year. Oklahoma. People say, "Oh, Oklahoma's not good in the Big 12." Well, they put it on Bama by like 20. Tennessee took down Bama. Texas A&M took down Bama. They all play. What's the what? What do they have in common? They're great defensive teams that play at a very so, slow pace. Listen to this. So they they lose to Tennessee on February. So their last win is Auburn on the road in the jungle. They win February 11th. Then they then lose to Tennessee February 15th. February 18th, they play one of the worst teams in the conference, Georgia, and they win by a million. The news then comes out. They win a two point game in overtime. Don't cover against the Gamecocks, a horrible team in the SEC. They win by three against Arkansas at home and do not cover the spread. They win by five in overtime at home against Auburn in a revenge spot. Do not cover the spread. They then lose on the road to Texas A&M by six. Obviously do not cover the spread as favorites there. And now they're laying eight points. Come on. You yeah. know I'm not a big dog guy, but this is a major conference game, so it's a, it's safe to play dogs dog. here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ohio State taking on Michigan State. I should have. I, I really thought Ohio State was D D O A, but turns out they uh, Colby. They what do you have say? a good roster. They have, they a, good have roster. a good team. If you want? Let me get your phone. What do you what, you, what are you what are you gonna do? Subscribe to the college oh, basketball no, experience. Because <laughs> oh, me and Moneyline Mac we're all over oh, there. There all we right? go. 1130 on the West coast, uh, going back to Chicago. looks like we're picking all the big 10 games, Michigan state lane three and a half here against Ohio Kobe, state. You, what you didn't pick them to win the big 10 tournament though. 55 to one. The- I took. I actually took Michigan State. Yes, but, I, I took. But it ends here, I'm man. Michigan State, Penn here. State, and we all got suckered into Nebraska. Yeah. The Big oh. Ten's a clusterfuck. To one. Big Ten's a clusterfuck. Ohio State's going to win this thing, right? Mm. I think they're going to win this. I mean, this was a close game in East Lansing not that long ago. What back on? Uh, uh, the pro- what, the, March I guess. 4th? I guess my yeah. problem is this Michigan State team is very, very good. Um, in a weird way, I think they could they could do that thing where they get knocked out early and it motivates them to go on a long yeah, tournament sure, run. Sure, sure. I I, 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 
I think they could be a good t- tournament team as well. Ohio Depending State wins this game. Get. Really? Yeah. See, I, I mean, again, I'm, I'm I have the. We gave out the future. Colby and I did for Michigan State, so I obviously want to lean to Michigan State, but I can see this being a one-shot game. Yep, and you got to take Ohio State. So you're you're giving out Ohio State, even though we're on Michigan State to win the Big Ten. Well, well, the the fear, me, the fear, I think, guys. on uh, me when I there, I thought about taking Ohio State, and uh, I didn't because because I I wasn't sure if they'd be able to get past. To me, the biggest step was Wisconsin, mm. and they got past that. And now now I think Ohio State's rolling, and I think they know Chris Holtman's coaching for his job. They're the more desperate team. It, it is it is yeah. annoying because I've I've seen a flash out of this Ohio State team where they're all of a sudden mad. They they've they lost to Michigan State twice this year, so it is I'm violating my own system there. Uh, most recently on the road as the only loss over their last six games uh, or five games, the rest being wins. So perhaps you could say this new version of the team has revenge on the mind. And honestly, like Ohio State makes the tournament in one scenario. Yep, you got to win the whole damn thing. I'm taking I'm taking Michigan State because I already have the future. I uh, love Tom I, Izzo. I think but I think Kramer's taking Ohio. Oh, State. I'm on Ohio. You're State. on Ohio. I'm State. Switching up. Yeah. They they showed me they're not dead. Does this happen? Do I need to double check the sheets? Before? You might need to. Maybe <laughs> this is why your record stinks. <laughs> Twelve thirty. Hey Ryan, before we oh. get to uh, Tennessee, Missouri. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Time to flip on the shades and Hello. talk about our good buddies over at ShadyRays.com. Love my new pair of Shady Rays. These things. Again, one just straight up legit sunglasses. Uh, if you're hitting the slopes, doing some underwater adventures, whatever it is, you, know, you, you want your retinas burned out? No, of course not. You want to be able to watch all these March Madness games and uh, Shady Rays. Again, one of the uh, one of the days in Vegas, I think we're going to be hanging poolside in a cabana watching some games. You know, I'm going to be rocking my Shady Rays. And again, Shady Rays. They, I I still don't I can't wrap my head around how they do this, but. Um, you know, if you lose or break your pair, even on day one, they said they will send you a brand new pair. No questions asked that. I, I don't know. That seems too good to be true. I got to read the fine print, but shady rays, <laughs> they are awesome. Again, premium polarized shades customized. You can even get customized uh, snow goggles, or uh, maybe we can look into getting a scuba mask for Kramer or a snorkeling mask. Kramer, where is your snorkeling mask? We ordered a snorkeling yeah. mask. It's, not, it's sitting on my desk right now. Okay. Well, have, you, have you checked with the hotel in Vegas go, to see it, if they have a Colby, if they have a kiddie pool? Colby, could you? We go are out? definitely gonna get. <laughs> please go and get the the mask. I think for yeah, me. Colby, go grab because I'm gonna refill yeah. my yeah. drink. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, doing refill your too. drink. <laughs> get the uh, snorkel mask, and we're gonna be hitting the pool on Friday. You know we're gonna be rocking our shady rays. Kramer will be in his snorkel gear. Go to shadyrays.com and use promo code SGPN. 50% off two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses. Try for yourself. The shades rated five stars by over 200,000 people. That's shadyrays.com. Promo code SGPN. I mean, these are sweet shades. Do you think they're covered in, a, in the case of a. Sword vitality mishap that causes the glasses. I don't know. They, I haven't read the extensive warranty, but mm. again, we'll see. What do you Ryan, think? I'm worried about Cal Poly or Mustangs. They're they're uh, falling on. apart here. We're gonna turn this back on just for the magic. Yes, we will do a dramatic reveal. YouTube.com slash sports game in the pockets. Have you downloaded the SGPN app? Because we got a number of uh we got two March Madness contests coming. One we're going to be doing a first half bingo, first half unders bingo. So you get a bingo card, you get five in a row, you cash for a nice <laughs> SGPN gift card, and the DJ uh, dance uh, is son. back. <laughs> All right, uh, and Kramer's here from uh, the from the snorkeling. Uh, what uh, and what's the next game we're talking about? Because I'll, I'll let you know what he really is saying. If we're talking Tennessee, Missouri. Ooh. Oh, I can pop my head up and talk. It's oh, okay. oh yeah, that's right. I forgot you're in the shallow end. <laughs> so. Uh, now y'all can really go suck it. I'm prepared. <laughs> all right. Well, are we all settled? We're, we can move on. Tennessee, Missouri. Tennessee laying six points at home here. Twelve thirty on the West Coast. I'm all over. I mean, Missouri is a team I want to back. 
Not here, buddy. Really? Talk me into Tennessee, Colby. You know why, Sean? Because I'm I was leaning Missouri, but maybe I need to here's add why. some add some diving weights, go a little deeper. Missouri hit a half court game winner in Knoxville the last time they played. Oh, okay. Confidence. This, this is Tennessee's been that knocked them out of the top ten. This is this is one they've been waiting for. Tennessee you, you, rolls. I'm laying the points. Oh no. You're calling for revenge? Yeah. This is all about revenge, man. I'm kind of with Colby on this, and I heard I heard when you when you're snorkeling, you don't really you don't really feel revenge, Sean. <laughs> no, you're you're in a joyful place. Yeah. Steve you Irwin wasn't snorkeling when he died, Sean. For, was, first of uh, all, I, this is a pretty fire look. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Second of all, this is surprise. And I, you know, I'm an offensive rebounding guy. Tennessee no, yeah. is fifth in the nation in offensive yeah. rebounding percentage and Missouri, their defense dead yeah. last. And when it comes to allowing offensive rebounding, offensive rebounds matter. Give me Tennessee minus six you, Kramer you, on 4th of July. You're, you're definitely a sparkler guy, right? Kramer. Oh, that's, that's a me <laughs> fun, uh, fun 4th uh, of July story. <laughs> So uh, down in Virginia, you know, you got your own fireworks. You could have yeah. some fun. And in college, we're lighting them off in our parking area. And you know, we we have enough. I, I was I have I, I enjoy lighting stuff on fire. So I had a nice collection. Yeah. And let, so let, let the sparklers. So pe the people start watch. We're shooting some mortars <laughs> up and things of that nature. And people start watching. A little crowd. Well, a humble brag with his and, mortars. And over next there. thing you know, well, we're all having you know some cocktails or whatever. Yeah. And and the the mortar gets knocked over. And it just these two nice people that were enjoying our fireworks show just gets blasted right right in the chest oh, by this firework. There we go. So you killed someone. Yeah. No, I'm not, I mean here, here's yeah. the secret. It, they say they're really dangerous. It bounced <laughs> off them. It like rolled five feet away, and they kind of reacted, and then it exploded. Maybe there was a couple of skin burns, but nothing serious. <laughs> I mean the guy the guy was act. I mean maybe he was acting tough in front of a lady, but uh, you know whatever. Uh, all all of that being said, give me Missouri. I told you I was going to be backing this team in the postseason. Snark, snark, snark uh, and maybe snark, snorking. Snark. I ha I did make some snork moves, and I haven't. Up this, you know what? Keep, you keep giving your breakdown, though. It, I've just wanted to back this team all year, and, and much like, uh, and they happen to be the higher seed, Chad. We and they're catching six points. How how great! This is turning into the college. <laughs> People are going to hate this show. We're going to oh, get some. Wow. some wow. Here's what I would say. The records haven't been updated, but I continue to dominate conference tournament. Oh, time, dude, I'm so doing pretty good myself. That's fine. Penn state. Not as, not as good as me. So once again, when you guys disagree with me, it's, it's generally a bad, it's mm. a bad turn for mm. you guys. Ohio uh, Mac action here, taking on Toledo. Toledo laying five here, 1230, another 1230 tip on the West coast from Cleveland. I, I want to say, uh, Colby, are we both on Ohio? Am I am I wrong to remember that? Uh, I, I certainly Ohio. am on we the all? Bobcats. I think uh, they're both two really good offensive teams. Toledo did lose to East Carolina. Um, we went a combined combined um, eleven and one in our MAC picks. Mm. I was the only I was the only loser with Northern Illinois plus eleven. We also the NILs really let me down. Uh, we all have Ohio at eleven to one to win the conference, and yeah. I mean, what could take you off this Ohio team right now? I mean, it, this is a good matchup for them too, because I feel like both teams struggle at uh, are, are, like Toledo's weaknesses, their defense. Ohio's a very good offensive team, which I think will will make it for a decent decent shootout we got here in the MAC. Colby. Yep. Yeah, I agree with you. I, normally, I'd say you want favorites in these tiny conferences. No, I mean, I think I think Ohio is definitely a live dog. I understand why you know you could talk yourself into Toledo with their offense, but man, Ohio can hang. And just what I saw out of them from that first game, I love them plus five, and I I think they're a little frisky here. So, so Ohio versus uh, we're gonna get an Ohio Akron championship game. Right? Let's go. No. <laughs> Colby says no. All right. So Discord gets their second pick as Toledo minus five. Let's head back to the garden. 330 on the West Coast. Yukon minus three against Marquette. Dog. We kind of discussed this on the Big East show, but you know, I think we were generally wrong. Yukon very much ha has a home edge in the garden. And <clears throat> I like they played in a way that makes me believe they're going to come out tomorrow and give Marquette problems. Yes. And once again, Snork. I'm going to lay the points with Yukon. 
I, I agree here. Oh. This is this is an area By the way, with the home crowd. How Shaka not mm. getting enough cr- uh, crap for these ha- the hair plugs are a little off putting. <laughs> I su- are they not hair plugs? No. <laughs> That's his real hair. Is that what people believe that? No, okay. It's just he's straight much he was much easier to look at with that uh nice clean shaven head. <laughs> See, this is interesting cuz I think if this was the if this was the uh actual yeah, why would you go from shaved head? Is he gonna have people a pu- have already seen your oh. shaved head. Why would you go why would you move off shaved? It's cold head? in Wisconsin. He's he going from Austin, when, Texas. When to you Milwaukee. go to shaved head, there's no coming back. He's going ponytail. I think he's going full <laughs> Bon Jovi. I mean, the thing about yeah, what is up with this hair? Uh, I almost want to bet the op. It, it's weird. Like if this was an actual tournament game, I'd be on Marquette. No. Yeah, but no, I think since this me is. Too. This is a, a conference tourney. I think, and this it's is at the Garden. I think that's that's a home yeah. game for UConn. You got to take UConn here. Dan Hurley will have I mean, his, pro- his moment I, to fail us again. Later. Obviously, I'm like completely biased towards Providence, but Providence had a pretty fiery comeback, and UConn just stood on them and really yeah. kind of crushed their spirit. Uh, I saw another level out of UConn, which I didn't know that. I, obviously, they they had that win streak. They were coming in pretty hot, but. I didn't know they had that in them, honestly. So I I, I like this oh, uh, a good for a conference tournament. They yeah. were number one in the in the country at some point, like many other teams. All right, another three thirty tip here. One more big more Big Ten basketball. I guess this is this is contractually obligated to be here. Sean wants to talk Penn State. Oh come versus on, versus Northwestern. Who? This is barely. This is uh, what, what I don't even know what this is. Northwestern's good, I guess. Minus <laughs> one here. Sean Sean was hyped. Penn State. <laughs> Northwestern's a fraud. Uh, they are the ultimate fraudulent team. Penn State clinched, but pretty much. Well, yeah. Uh, providing that East Carolina doesn't win the AAC, which is highly likely. Um Wow. Twenty two uh, point dogs tomorrow. Yeah, it's not a problem. We've been that before. We figured it out. Um Northwestern. Think- this is a home crowd. Private school pussies will yeah. show up to this one. Yeah. Um. You know, uh, Penn, Penn State travels. Come on. Ah, uh, Penn State. They basketball. they got they get dude. They just beat Illinois in Chicago. Come yeah. on. There was more. You don't p- think they can overcome a, a a home crowd? There was more people at your Quiznos today <laughs> th- in State College, and the, uh, more Penn State fans at the uh, Quiznos than, uh, well, than the United Center. They saw what I did with the honey bourbon chicken. I mean, <laughs> you, you put that sandwich out there again. This Penn State team has some is, fire in is their Mike belly. Is Mike McQuarrie going to be in attendance, John? <laughs> hey, well, he was the guy who cleared the whole thing up. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> oh, 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 I I did not. Hey, Dad! Ask. I saw I saw uh, Jerry Sandusky I, with a bunch of kids. I didn't naked. I didn't you think ask, I should go to the police? I didn't ask. Hey, to Dad! Be here right now, Dad, should I go to the police? I no. Did. I didn't Son, know. go to Joe Paterno. He eventually, right. he eventually they <laughs> go got, coach. They eventually right. got the. They eventually got. Well, this is a right different. Thing. First a of all, of command, Colby, this is a different time when football leaders were the the the, the head man in charge. Sure, sure. Here's what I'll say: Penn State beat uh, Illinois in Chicago, Illinois, facing a very hostile crowd, and they they won by three in spite of only going thirteen of twenty two at from the line. That's fifty nine point. One percent. They normally shoot seventy two point eight percent. Wow. I'm on Northwestern. Fun they, fact: they, Penn State, Ken Palm's most experienced team. Dude, mm. they they have the profile of a team that can make a little. Uh, run uh, you know what? Give me Penn. You know, here's what I would say: This is a sh- good. This is a team that wins with their shooting. They shot okay, but they didn't shoot great in mm. their victory. You were on Cosby too. They temple, still, right? they still didn't get a no. You took I'm Temple, not, not a big right? Temple guy. <laughs> I thought you took Temple. Not a big Cincy. Temple guy. But in this case, they didn't even shoot that well. If they get hot, let's go. Penn State, give me, give me another dog. R.I.P. the Cal Poly Mustangs, guys. The dream is over. Three fifty to one system is struggling. Damn. They did hit it on the first half. What are you talking about? There's still a minute sixteen left. Let's, Come on, right? Oh, I see. It's a classic reverse oh, jinx. What do you you got to mm. warn us. Mm. Maybe slow. Uh-oh. Oh, speaking of warnings, time to unsheath your sword with sword vitality. Wait, hold on, I'm still in the water. Let me get out. <laughs> hey, everyone knows that uh, one of the top things about being a guy is having awesome rock hard erections. And you know, if you're not having a rock hard erection, you know you're missing it, right? Because again, you've had those sweet rock hard erections at some point in your life. You're not getting them. You want to go back to those rock hard erections. Sword Vitality helps you get that done. They increase blood flow. Again, it's a, it's a, it's not your issue. It's a you know whatever a body issue. Again, 
if your if your right leg was broken, if your left leg was broken, you would get them fixed. If your middle leg is broken, you need to get it fixed. Swordvitality.com can help you get it fixed. Visit swordvitality.com. Use promo code SGPN for a nice discount at checkout. That's swordvitality.com. Promo code we'll SGPN. Again, uh, you know, you already do the manscaping. Why not take care of the plumbing? Swordvitality.com. Promo code SGPN. Unsheath your sword. All right, and let's bring it back. I'm wearing a snorkeling mask. <laughs> YouTube.com slash sports game and podcast, of course. Smash that subscribe button. Get in the chat. Toss a thumbs up. Ugh. Let's go. All right. Central Florida takes on Memphis in Fort Worth. Again, <laughs> in the American Athletic Conference, 4 p.m. on the West Wait, Coast. Real quick. Memphis we, minus two. We have to highlight uh, Benedict uh, Dan told in the chat saying, what an awful time for my wife to walk in the room. <laughs> Got the what the F are you listening to look? <laughs> <laughs> you listen to guys talk about directions with, uh, with nautical gear? What has happened to your life? Hey, it's all it's all good. It's all positive. Explain to her there's feelings going yeah. on. Yeah, that's what it, this you won't is, have to explain later. When she this <laughs> is representative of uh, feelings and emotions. There you go. UCF Memphis Memphis minus two. I I Colby I I, I mean we we kind of we we discussed this on the American preview, and you guys took Memphis, so I assume you're gonna like them here in this matchup. Uh, I, I thought this is all all chalk, but I I look at this matchup and I, I say the spread's too short. Obviously, I'm going to lay the points. I, Memphis. I got a new line. Oh, what's the number? Four. Oh, well, so I was my once it, my handicap was accurate. Do we have real numbers popping up, Colby? We I do. Like this. We do. Why don't you update them as we go? The four points probably a more representative. So it's number. Memphis minus four. Yep. yep. I, I I still I it's hard for me to not look at Memphis. I I know. I mean, it just seems like we're just wait. We're gonna see Memphis and Houston. These games have been fucking great this year, though, man. Between these two, both the games were fire. Um. I I mean I think Memphis. Uh, yeah, Memphis lost to uh, UCF in Florida, but that was double OT. They lost one oh seven one oh four, and then they won at home, but they only won by one point. point. Yeah, it's I, as much as I love Memphis, man. It's hard to take them lane four. I'm gonna do it just because I want to be on the same side of my future. But man, I it's pretty easy to make a case for UCF plus four just because of how close these games have been. And UCF got the advantage of playing the play in game in that capacity. They so didn't warm. look great today, though. They almost they almost lost that game to SMU. I was gonna say, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll ride with Memphis too. I think Penny, t- yeah. you know, he, he turns the not turns the notch it up uh, once there. I can't talk, <laughs> <laughs> little Penny. Yeah. It's been, you know, remember that. Oh, I, again, we're probably dating ourselves, but if you're uh, anyone under thirty, do yourself a favor and look up the little Penny commercials oh. on YouTube. Chris Rock does the voice. Of little Penny Hardaway, and it's Excellent. just it's it's one of the great commercials. What is the movie I'm thinking of in the '80s where he goes to Volume Eleven? It's like no, no, no. See, our our band goes to Volume Eleven, <laughs> not Volume Ten. And he's like, but why don't you just set it up? Rob Reiner directed it, right? Come on, you guys know this. Airheads? No, it's '80s '80s. No, spinal but tap. ours it's Spinal Tap. Yes. Ours goes to Volume Eleven, <laughs> that, right? That's what I was trying to say, essentially. Speaking of, yeah. of, we were discussing great comedies in the office before the again for another episode of the List Pod, the List Gambling <laughs> Podcast. We got, we really got to figure this out. Uh, so Discord gets another Let's one list. in Central Florida. <laughs> Good luck. Horrible place to visit. A vet, a vet in the YouTube chat says, "Can you imagine uh, people just stumbling into the show, wondering why there's scuba attire everywhere?" <laughs> I mean, it's these an, guys yeah. are just getting drunk, wearing uh, nautical gear, and drinking whiskey, and picking college football. Yeah. Uh, why would you not want to be? A Memphis part of this? does have a nice scuba team. They go in the Mississippi River right there. I've been to mm. Memphis countless times. Walk down to the Mississippi River. Some crawfish. You know? Are you you expect me to believe that you don't have a snorkeling mask in your office place of business? <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> 4 p.m. on the West Coast, heading over to Kansas City, where they had to nail the floor back to the ground. Uh, boy, Isn't, that's standard in Kansas big, City. Buddy. Big 12. Uh, I thought you were the best conference in the land. Iowa State here catching four and a half against Kansas. Uh, we don't have we learned anything more about Bill Self other than it sounds like he had a 
some sort of heart attack like uh, situation in the hospital. Sounds like he's recovering, but wasn't there to coach yesterday. I assume he's not <laughs> coaching tomorrow or coaching uh, Iowa State on yeah, Friday. I mean, that means you got to take Kansas here because th- th- oh, I love is, them even yeah, more to yeah. be a Final Four love team. Love the, the tragic magic situation we got going. Wishing Bill Self the best. And and by the way, today was uh, Coach Leach's birthday. Man, did you see that? Oh, oh yeah. that's such a bummer. I mean, I you know. Is that uh, why what, the Pirates what about VCU won? When Mississippi State was winning, you oh. just kind of had that moment of like, oh, you you instantly think of Mike Leach, and then it's like, oh, we don't get to talk to yeah. him this summer. Bullshit. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's really sad. Where's the now, flag? Well, Where's now, the flag? Give me the give me the flag. It's got it's, got, it's uh, right up there. Is that taped? It's, or can it's I a little taped. Okay. Yeah, okay. We, I mean, you can pull it right yeah, underneath it, our scoreboard yeah. over at youtubecom so sports gaming podcast. If you want to watch the show live. Check out the visuals, but yeah, I mean, how do you not take this Kansas team? It, these these dominant teams are tough to handicap because some seem okay get knocked out early. They're gonna pack it in, whatever. Kansas, to their credit, came and I don't know if it was the Bill Self thing or not, but they they really brought they had a chip on their shoulder against West Virginia. And uh, Noah pointing out the the sword uh, sound effect could also be oh used yeah, for swing your sword leads. yeah. Uh, and I, yeah, I mean, honestly, do yourself a favor and read his uh, Geronimo book and all his books. I, I, w- I just want to be clear, guys. Um, <clears throat> you guys are going to fade these the, the Pirates of East Carolina on Mike Leach's birthday. Uh, well, I will see you at the fucking winter circle. Well, you, all right? they won, the Pirates won to on his oh, birthday. We're, we're just st- is it, is it still the day? And now we're past. I want birthday. you to maybe rethink your ink there, buddy. Uh, I also worth noting Iowa State uh, coming off just a, a good matchup against a team that in body language tells you anything. Iowa State knew they were going to beat Baylor the whole time, and Baylor knew that they couldn't beat Iowa State. It was a very yeah. strange vibe. There, there was a confidence to this uh, Iowa State team that is scary. But I, I'm with Colby. I'm going to take Kansas. Kramer, are you locking in? What are you doing? Oh yeah, I mean, I we Colby and I were discussing this this morning when he walked in, like. I, I know Kansas lost to Iowa State earlier in the year, or uh, split home and home, but feel like Kansas with with whatever happened to Bill Self, his players are going to dial it up a notch. Because there's one thing that you find out from every Kansas player ever is they like Bill Self. So, Discord, good luck fading Bill Self with the Cyclones. Who, by the way, they took the Cocaine Bears and just sprayed them all mm. all over <laughs> Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> Jackson Mahomes is having a good time. <laughs> Arkansas. The must bus heading into Nashville, Tennessee. You could uh, he must co- the must bus has a good time in Tennessee. I would be willing to bet, but they run into Buzz, <laughs> Saw Williams, and Texas A and M the Aggies. <laughs> Texas A and lay, laying a point here. Uh, I mean, come on, come on, Colby. You're telling me Arkansas is like a wounded animal this year, and I know, I know they're a good squad. But this this Texas A and M team, I watched Buzz coach the Hokies with lesser talent than this, and they got the effort, the energy, and he he's explained to him that to this this team what a tournament run can do for them, and so first step they gotta they gotta go take care of business here against Arkansas. I'm never. I mean, I don't know why I'm. I'm still talking, but Sean, I'm, I'm, of course I'm going to take. Do buzz. you hear the bubbles from the snorkeling? <laughs> oh no, you're right not fading buzz, are you? <laughs> this is going to be such a bad look. We're clipping this and everything. Clip it, clip, clip it. Clip it. All right, do whatever you got to do. All right, snorkel. All right, because I'm deep sea diving over here with the moss bus. Really? All right. Talk, I, I like your attitude, talk, Sean. Do you remember when I? Do it uh, they lost by six uh, the last time they played, and I believe that was in College Station. Right this, after the Super Bowl, Sean. It was it was a Wednesday night, and I had a banger of a three teamer that relied on this awesome fucking comeback. So I remember it. Well, they lost by six, and that was in College Station. And Arkansas has since got Nick Smith back. They've gotten a lot healthier. They're better. And it's not in College Station where the crowd's gonna move. You know, bring your on. toothbrush. Cam Curtis, he's not even gonna be in Nashville. All right, bring your toothbrush. Which, by the way, one time uh, was renting. It. I, Arkansas took care of. Uh, how, how come? Auburn. How come we don't have bring your toothbrush T-shirts yet? <laughs> Again, DIY organization here. At one time, spent July Fourth weekend in, college in Tennessee, another great state uh, for fireworks. Uh, and it rained the night of July 4th. So we just lit off everything. It was beautiful in the woods. Didn't have to worry about burning down the forest. Obviously I'm on Texas A and M here. I'm you guys going, are on the bus bus. Uh, yeah. yeah. I liked what I saw. There's a benefit of team. playing the first game. That's Sean, why you, East Carolina is going to roll. And, and, and why, Arkansas yeah. 
Arkansas has some, you know, they they went on a nice little run last year. Do we have data on this? And you're Arkansas see- fans will be in so, Nashville. So you're speculating that buys are a bad thing. Uh, in certain scenarios, if if you got you know teams that that have heart, mu- you know Musselman, his teams have heart. They're, I do, they're a lot like East Carolina basketball, baseball, football, swimming teams. Even I do agree that you can get hot in some cases, but I, I also think being the team that's rested helps. And in this case, I think Texas A and M's live to to win to win it all to win the SEC at least. Maybe not all of it, but the SEC portion for for, for sure. Duke, Miami. I mean, what, what is this? Duke is going to turn into a good basketball team. Now 4 PM on the West coast. We're heading back down to Greensboro. Yep. Duke lane three here. Gotta My lay it. instant reaction is God, Duke's going to smash this Miami, Especially team. But knowing they lost by 22. The last time they played Miami, Larinaga better coach than I mean, Duke- Shirehood for sure. 100%. Duke doesn't have the coaching advantage. Anymore. Duke's won seven. Coach K's not coming out Duke of that is fucking locker. Fuck them up tomorrow. Duke's man. won seven in a row, yeah. and before that, their losses oh. were Virginia and OT, and then Miami. So th- it feels like they're going to have a chip on their shoulder to knock this Miami team off. Have, you, no- have you noticed he's just going with the higher seed every game? <laughs> every game, how do you handicap? Seed, right? How do you handicap? Why is he even on the show, Sean? Oh wow, look at this. <laughs> See, he's making the big move. Daryl saying Duke laying points. Get the fuck yes, out of here. Yes, there we go. The one one seed this <laughs> Where's the respect for the one seed in the conference? I I mean, I, I Duke again is one of those teams you Suckers. you look at them and go, "Hey, are they going to show up for this conference tournament or not?" They made it very clear they're showing up for this conference tournament. Yeah. I I cannot fade Duke at any cost right now. Okay. Good luck. Coach K is not coming out. This You know, the next this, game, next game Kent State's the higher seed. Now, well, just don't to, worry. Just to, you know, just I love my you know, zip it up at 4 30 on the West coast, Cleveland, Ohio, Mac semifinals, Akron, Kent state, Kent state laying three. We nothing to talk about here. This is all, all Akron all day. Wow. You know, it's, this is great. I, I, this look, is you, great. Sometimes you got to take dogs. Sometimes mm. you gotta, you gotta step out and take a dog mm. and, uh, and I'm on Akron as well. <laughs> I'm also calling into an Akron radio sh- oh, station nice. tomorrow, so that's unrelated. But I mean, love what I saw out of this Akron team. I I I think they match up decently against Ball mm. or Kent State. Mm. Mm. Kent State plays defense. That like the argument yep, that Colby they would are say a is top twenty defensive team and defense wins in March, and they also have sincere carry, the best player in the match. So, so do free throws. Akron uh, three percentage points higher than Kent State. Oh, wow, mm, you got to get to the free throw line though, buddy. You got to be all you can be in this great city of Cleveland. I, will, right? I, and, I, uh, I would and say <laughs> Cleveland rocks. If you wanted to take that journey, uh, you, you would, you would find out that Kent state actually will put you at the line. And so Akron, they could find their way uh, th- in that, in that type of uh, did, attack. You and, guys and, didn't watch this last matchup. Did you? Well, that's Xavier Castaneda Akron's leading scorer. Basically uh, that's the problem. They took him out of the game. They no. took him out of the game, and no one else can can can, can they figure it out. Split the regular season, lost the most recent one on the road. Kent State was playing at home; it took overtime. Well, this is a, this is pretty much at home for both teams. Uh, okay, uh, just pointing that out. But then in the game where Akron hosted Kent State, they they of course won by twelve. Mm. So I mean, it, it, worth noting as well. I, I don't know why you're trying to be so hard on my zips in the future home of Bronny James. Well, I just think since you since you're carried, look, last year the zips had Ali Ali. They had all that. They went to the NCAA uh, tournament. I'm, I'm There's a chip on the shoulder of the golden flash. I'm snorkeling, and you are snorkeling <laughs> once again. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna get up into the jet ski so hot wait, tub. The Houston Cougars, who you're so bullish yep. on. Yep. You know they only scored forty nine against Kent State's oh, see, defense. Tra- right? Transitive property. Well, that's oh. Houston though for you. Transitive property saying. doesn't work. In, how about in, how about the fact Kent State kept it close within five points of Houston within seven you points. Get a medal for that at Gonzaga. Yeah, get, uh, gonna Sean, find, the Purple Heart. Sean, we're gonna could, find out who takes it. home the medal in the Mac, Sean. All right. Can we it get ain't one? Gonna be your little zips. All right. Yeah, here we go. I think it might be. You Ohio. can call into all the radio shows in Akron. You ain't gonna get a win. All right? wanna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be the biggest <laughs> name in Akron. You want to hear more about this? You can tune into Colby's little podcast. Oh. <laughs> Oregon heads to or is in Las Vegas. Uh, looks like they. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing the dude who rolled up his ankle won't be playing in this L- game. Little po- Those are all of our guys. You got no one in here. 
Well, you got see, Richard Gersberger. You got Gersberger. All right, I'll give you Gersberger. It's like a coaching right? tree. These are all our people. <laughs> we're a community here. We're uh, the Andy Reid. We're a community with rock hard boners <laughs> and sick ass polarized eyewear. Oregon catching seven and a half against Save UCLA. Save that for the T-shirt. UCLA. Look, I mean, yeah, not nothing else needed. UCLA looks like a team that still means business, and they covered today with a similar number. I certainly Oregon probably, probably maybe puts up a better fight, but I, I don't know. I mean, it almost feels like the injury news with UCLA caused people to back off of them a little bit and it doesn't uh, matter, but there's injury news with Oregon too. Cause then finally Dante did get injured. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, how much does that matter? I, I'm st I'm always inclined to lay the points with UCLA. They're such a well, well, and you, you, well saw, it, you saw it against that Arizona state team where you, they might play with their food a little bit. They let you hang around and then they have that killer Python grip at the end. And you know, I, I know they're, they're dealing with that injury, but they're a really deep team. So I don't even know if you might just end up with a, a discounted UCLA price and still a very good team. That's very deep. Um, that could really light up this Oregon team. I think Oregon wins it on the money line. Okay, really? I do. I think you, if you're a UCLA fan, you, you want, want to lose. Them to this lose? Game. I mean, yeah. th that is yeah. that is what's tough well, about handicapping these games because they might they might feel okay with like, all right, we got tested a little bit by Arizona State or uh, no Colorado, Colorado, yeah, yeah. and then we put them away, right? Like Colorado gave them a and, game, and Oregon put them away for their postseason. Yeah, no, and I I see that case, but. I'm with Kramer. I can't fade UCLA. I just can't. Do when it. when the game matters, they're just not like they're not shook. They they know what to. It, the couple points you get at the end of the game, they get all of those points. Uh, those came from the refs today. All right, Fallon Iverson yeah. uh, saying just tuned in and heard rock hard boners. Do I have the right show? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're brought to you by Sword Vitality. Unsheath <laughs> your sword. Why is everyone so uptight about their boners? I don't, I don't get it. All right. So that concludes the portion where we're talking about Friday. We are going to preview the last conference because Colby almost forgot one. The private I school. Hey, are they going to play this year, Sean? They are playing. So the I'm I giving, I'm giving the conference tournament championship to whatever teams don't play from, <laughs> from the Ivy league, the Ivy league. The, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, the Ivy league, they're playing in Princeton, New Jersey for some reason. I'm sure Colby will tell us why. Starts on Saturday. There are uh, what four teams that make it. Let's fucking go, Villanova! Come but on. Half the league, half the league was not allowed to play in the postseason. So we have Cornell, uh, the four seed. Mental health. Cornell, the mental the, health. Cornell, the four seed, plus six fifty. Pennsylvania, Penn, the three seed, plus three eighty. Princeton, the two seed, plus two thirty. And Yale, the one seed, plus one hundred five. Yale is the best team, but they're, why are they playing in Princeton? Colby? I've been trying to figure that out myself. Okay. Um, it was just set up that way. The fix is the, in, you know, they don't have the, a long skull history. And, skull and bones are sponsoring this uh, tournament. Oh, nice. they, they don't have a long, they got history. a big Princeton contingency. Someone, uh, it's sick. someone crashed someone else's boat. So it's a, it's a gentleman's uh, agreement. It's, yeah. They, 10 years. They got a host <laughs> the, you know, obviously they were supposed to move to the, 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 the tournament, the year COVID hit when they canceled their season. Uh, which you know, all, all college basketball led after that, but then they canceled the next season. So this is actually kind of like a new thing. So I am trying to figure this out because before they just took the regular season, because um, got it. But that right. now they they decided that the top four teams don't have mental health problems, but the bottom four do. Are, is that what you're referring to as finals? They have finals to take. Benedict yeah. Antold pointed out Princeton uh, only gym that doesn't have retractable bleachers. So. Is that why they're hosting? That, okay. That's why. That, that actually that's makes sense. That's why. Makes sense. Yeah, I, you know, based on my deep, deep analysis, it's unclear as to why it's being hosted here. Uh, anyway, and because Yale also beat Princeton twice, it seems like they tied, but the tiebreaker gives it to Yale. Uh, maybe this was a, a, a <laughs> secondary prize. I have no idea. Yeah. Don't don't we just take the home team based on that? Uh, lay in seven. Oh, no, no. no. In, as a future. Oh yes. Yes. As a, Plus as a two thirty. Sure. Sure. Sign me up for that. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sean? I thought you were talking game. Are you talking Princeton future? Yeah. You're jumping ahead to Penn Princeton as well. No, no. I'm just, oh, I'm, okay. I threw out the futures. Yeah, no, I think like that's, that's they're... normally how we preview conferences. All four futures. Oh, out you're there. right. Yeah, I'm not, that. I'm not used to doing conferences with four teams that cancel yeah, seasons. Uh, uh, again, back I, to back years. I'll lead yeah. here. I'll say, give me the Princeton tigers plus two thirty. Are they going to be wearing their masks on the court? <laughs> so you're taking Yale. 
Uh, no, I'm taking, I'm taking Princeton. I'm all taking right. Princeton. Yeah, let's yeah. just co-sign yeah. Princeton at two. All right, so we're all on Princeton. First round uh, of the of the tourney. Cornell, Yale, Yale minus seven. What do we do with small conferences? Chalk in the first round. Come on, Yale and Princeton are going to play in the championship here. You just lay chalk in both of these. Man, Cornell was so good earlier in the year, but damn, down the stretch they have faded. Yeah, it, it's Ivy League um, basketball. This is tough, Sean. What are you doing? I don't I mean, know. Cornell beat Cor- the hell out of them. Cornell's defense is so bad. I think you had to go. Yale. Yeah, and Yale's nine and one in their last ten. Give me Yale. Yale. He's a Yale man. Mister uh, Montgomery Burns went to Yale. Noted alum. Oh, nice. I, I, I just you can't. I think I think I'm just gonna go super chalky in the Ivy again. Skull and Bones, figure out these uh, results ahead of time. They're they're keeping it they're keeping it chalky. All right, we got Penn uh, in Princeton again. The first game was Saturday 8 a.m. This is Saturday 10:30 a.m. 8 a. 10:30 a.m. on the <laughs> West Coast. Princeton again hosting this one, laying four against Penn. Easy money. I'm sure Sean yeah. will, will take default route and uh although got a he, snorkel here. This is you interesting. Got a so he, he's gonna fade Penn with a team from New Jersey. It feels like he didn't quite think about it. Now this, this game well. was crazy though, because Penn was up like twenty points. Princeton they just played on March fourth, and Princeton came all the way back. This is this was to, to get a share of the championship. Uh and uh and they won in overtime. So Penn might have something there saying, Hey, we had this team beat by fifteen. And we let them off the hook, and you want to crown them, you crown them. Oh, um, crown them! Smash that! Table. Crown their ass! But I'm gonna take Smash. Princeton. Actually, no, give me Penn. I think they can cover that. I think they can cover the four. Princeton wins by two. All right, that's it. We talked all. We talked. Yeah, si- yeah I'm a, I'm on Princeton. I mean the the home Obviously. court, uh, the home court alone. It matters. Home court matters. Hey, time for the lock dog bonus lock and even a tri post brought to you by Sword Vitality. Uh, Promo code SGPN. Unsheath are, your sword. Are we doing a, a? That's interesting because the tri post would definitely get slayed by a, a Sword Vitality sword. Oh yeah, right. If you're battling a tri post, you need some Sword Vitality. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess I'll go first. I'll lead by example here. Lock number one. Give me Mississippi State plus eight. Ah, uh, could be, could also potentially be used in the dog portion of the show. Lock number two, UConn minus dog. three. Okay. For my dog, give me Ohio outright over Toledo. And I, I guess I'll I'll wait for you guys on dog. the tripos. I guess. Yeah. All right. All right, for me, uh, lock Penn State plus one. They're better than Northwestern. Come on, what are we doing here, folks? Um, for my other lock, there's a number of uh, tempting games here. I think Purdue minus five. Rutgers, I I just think a little in over their heads. And for my dog, Mississippi State on the money line. Dog. Hail State. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, I mean, how mad is he going to be when he realizes he locked up Purdue? I mean, I agree with the pick, but Purdue is not a. a You're a, right. Uh, I'm bailing on Purdue. Give me Kansas. Matt Painter's face okay. when he's fucking. Yeah, I don't want to re- root for that yeah. needy kid. I I forgot what a fucking butt munch their uh, entire program is. <laughs> okay, okay. I was I was you know, I was distracted. Okay, I'm gonna lock up Purdue minus. Five. <laughs> I'm gonna go Kansas minus four and uh, a half. Give me Purdue minus five. I Stop like that a lot it. better. Okay, um, uh, let's go lock it up. Lock up the Boilermakers. Boiler up, baby. Purdue minus five. Dude, yep. you you've been on record. You're noted butt munch hate. You're you you called them. You, Rutgers you, doesn't have their bigs, man. They're uh, they're not the same team. Purdue's just, gonna fuck them up. Just, um, then we're going to take uh we're gonna take some action on uh. Well, it is Mike Leach's birthday. ECU oh. plus twenty two. Fuck you. No, that's crazy, Colby. People know that's that you're your a bonus fan. lock. ECU plus twenty two. Yep. Okay. Dog the Oregon Ducks. Really? The that's Oregon fun. Ducks are gonna win the game, Sean. Okay. Uh, again, I I I'm on UCLA, but I I could see the case for. Oregon. Look, I want to take Ohio State, but I, there's more value in Oregon. I'd be depriving my clients more money. <laughs> We owe it to our clients <laughs> to give them all the value they got. For the record, I don't have clients. 
Yep. We're all we're all just family around here. Community. Yep. And it's really important that uh, you know I'm I'm enjoying this journey with you, Ryan. No, hey, yeah. uh people asking what whiskey I was drinking, uh Jameson Black Barrel. Shout out to Jameson. Smash! That Smash! subscribe button, youtube.com slash sports gaming podcast. And of course, toss us a nice rating and review over on Apple Podcasts. Uh, Wait, no tripos? Oh yeah, for the tripos. What do we got? Well, uh, we we don't know what's tripos until we hear the music. What uh either one. Okay. Well, this will be the new uh tripus music. <laughs> Come along with the snorts. Swim along with the snorts. This uh, this I mean, let us know. I this I think this bit's aging horribly. <laughs> it's not a funny bit. <laughs> As Ryan says it with his uh snorkel mask. Hor- horrible bit. <laughs> Tripus, uh, we got to put Mississippi State in there, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm on board. I'm on board. Coach Leach's birthday, Mississippi you know, State, yeah, Ohio. Oh yeah. Ohio. Oh yeah. I like it. I like it. Talk. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. I, I, I think that might be the end of the, the the what we agree on train. Really, Memphis. Let's just keep it a Memphis. Yeah. All right. I'm UConn. How about UConn? UConn. Come on. It's at the Garden. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. All on the money line, or do we put UConn? Do we make UConn minus three? I mean, the tripus is kind of a money line thing, right? Yeah. Uh, Although I did hit a spread, all spread tripus. Maybe you don't miss mix the spread, <laughs> non-spread tripus. Mississippi State, Ohio, and UConn all on the money line for a sweet little uh, tripus action over there. Uh, again, smash, smash the subscribe button. Uh, yeah. Toss the rating review. Download the SUPN app. We got some big contests coming up, uh, dropping shortly. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, thank you as always for tuning in. I, thank you for participating. I was stalling for a second because I was trying to price out this this uh, this money line banger. That all right. You know what the tripos pays out? What? Plus fourteen seventy six. Oh Boom! God. Let's go. Thank you for participating in the sports gambling podcast. For the sports gambling podcast, I'm Sean stacking the money green, and he is Ryan. One more show, and then we'll be in Vegas. Kramer, let it ride. <laughs>